peace love and light scorpios coming with another message um see what's in your energy i'm getting something something significant about your third eye chakra um the connection with sun energy okay third eye chakra sun energy seven of wands three of cups protect what you've built protect your uh there's something that you've built a gathering of some sort of energies and the divine want you to protect that okay mm -hmm. strong energy of protection <clears throat> Show me Scorpio's energy. Hmm. This one is very significant, Scorpio's. Look where it it <laughs> you're going on up. Yeah, look at that. And that's interesting how the page of wands. So this page of wands is connected to the magician's wand, creative wand. Scorpios, the divine is saying that uh, you get to prepare to be this magician. Um, you are this magician. Alchemizing, creating, Ace of Cups, New Beginnings. Ace of Cups is also about hmm. Ace of Cups is also about birthing something, birthing something that you've wanted. Mm. I'm getting this energy of release from here too. It's like someone who is releasing everything so perhaps this this is saying something about what you're creating face of cups new beginnings Knight of Cups, Creative Expression, the World Card, a Cycle. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Mm. It's a lot you're creating. Scorpios, this energy of like new families is really strong. You are manifesting this this new family <clears throat> an increase. I'm also getting that this is something that you are that you're using all your might to create. You're using a lot of your energy to bring this wish into reality to bring the this thought that you have into reality i'm also getting that there <clears throat> there may be people that Hmm. 
there may be people that may have actually tried to prevent you from having this Scorpios it seems like there's always something right um there's always this energy of you know people energies coming against you this is an energy of also you having to protect yourself this is also an energy of you having to continually uh put in the work to assure that you get what you want it's like sometimes it can seem like there's no break because it's like people are always coming at you and it's like you're constantly having to protect yourself and with this seven of wands it's like this energy of family is something that not a lot of people wanted you to have like they didn't want you know your roots to be planted deep for you to establish you know a bloodline that would continue through you they didn't want you for many of you they didn't want you to start and for others they didn't want you to continue some of you may actually um already have children and this energy right here is it's like i'm getting it's it's something it's it's something that you had to work for you're receiving this you actually manifested it and you really had to put up a fight you, you really had to be guarded you had to really hold your own and possibly fight off demons that we're trying to come for you because they know that there's some aspect of your family that represents abundance for many of you you get to know that the families that you are building the families that are growing the family that you fought hard to protect is going to bring you there's some aspect of abundance tied to this family so this could be that the person that you are coming into union with okay if the, like the divine masculine or divine feminine the person that you're coming into union with there's some aspect of this coming together that's going to bring abundance and <clears throat> people did not want this people did not want this to happen they didn't want this union to happen and with this seven of wands here i'm getting both you the divine masculine divine feminine really fought for this you really fought for you to actually for you to be in this current time and space and energy because you really went through a lot of spiritual battles physical battles some of you it's even legal battles that you went through to get to where you are right now and this wand that you are releasing the divine is saying that what what they fought against to keep you from having and this is something that's showing up as an energy of creation and again this may be a child that you're you're going to be having and as i'm speaking i'm seeing yamaya show up okay about an awakening like this child is going to awaken something and this family the coming together of it is going to wait awaken some creative energy and it's like you've had to be guarded you've had to fight for this like literally the energy that i got earlier was like you literally had like a lot of unknown forces coming to stop this coming to put an end to it before it started it was like that one that was in your hand it represents your creative power your ability to create 
whether this is a business, whether this is a child, whether this is um, having to do with your purpose, you know, you've you've had this wand in your hand for quite some time and you really had to fight to hold on to it because you knew its power. You knew this wand had the ability to hold life force. It was, it had the ability to give life to what you will, really. It's about your willpower. This wand that you hold in your hand has the ability, has the life force to bring forth what you will. And whatever that means to, to many of you, and you know, if this resonates, you will know exactly what it is. The divine is saying to cherish that because this wand, you know, this may be, um, this may have to do with your mind space. This may have to do with your, your chakra, your heart. I'm really getting that it, it has to do with your heart. Uh, and it also has to do with and I'm getting like throat chakra energy too like all of these things are gifts that the divine has given you your gifts represent the life force that's giving that's like bringing your in, hmm. It's increasing your willpower. It's it's protecting you. You're someone of high rank in the spiritual realm, Scorpios. And you work for this. Like you put in the work to to be where you're at. I'm hearing ready the magician magician's wand. So this may be your spiritual team letting you know to um, prepare for this manifestation for for what you are about to manifest because when you are ready and you release that wand and some of you this means figuratively, some of you this actually means uh literally like there's something that you're getting ready to release into the world or someone or some beings many of you it's multiple children many of you uh could be having there's a there's twin energy yeah there's definitely twin energy coming from here Whatever it is you're getting ready to release into the world, you're going to, or you, you get to prepare, prepare your space, prepare your, your womb. If it's a child, prepare. And, and, you know, if it's having children, it may mean, you know, eat healthier. It may mean, uh, you know, drink like less alcohol or don't drink at all. Um, it may mean meditating, drinking a lot of water, like the divine is really like, you know, to prepare for this because what you're doing is you're making room for this energy to come forward. And the divine is saying you're going to reach this goal. And when you do, the very people that literally made it very difficult for you um, to bring this into reality, into existence, the, those very people, they're going to be seeing you because they've been, they've been watching you anyway. This is how they're able to, you know, consistently... create scenarios that you're having to to fight in regards to this 
like if if we're talking about you having children you're talking about people that know that you are meant to give birth to some significant you know some significant beings would literally create karmic scenarios um that would that would block you that would delay this process for you some of you it was meant to make you doubt that it would never happen and you literally like overcame this you overcame this You overcame it the divine is saying because of your your knowing spiritually like you know you're someone that's tapped in and you're also very much committed to what you do you're mastering what you do the eight of pentacles comes out for you quite a bit so this thing that's coming forth into this world uh this thing that you are getting ready to release into the world is going to be something that is awe inspiring um and people will see you through what you've created people will see that Although the realization of this wish was delayed, that what was promised to you is it's going to be fulfilled. And that's doing something that's really that's really going to be doing a lot for those who don't believe, those who are in the process of awakening and you're meant to tune in and tap into uh those energies as well those that feel like they may have had a missed opportunity like you literally represent some sort of like an example a testimony like the divine is using you and working through you Awakening you so you can awaken others. This is really beautiful, Scorpios. Tell us more. <laughs> this is an aspect of truth this is in relation to this is confirming what was just said you're really gonna be seeing as someone in a position of authority Scorpios when 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 people see you manifesting this you know you're really going to be seen as someone in the position of someone who's got a lot of strength someone who's in a position of authority someone who holds the sword of truth balance someone who's able to receive their just due there's that energy of family again like this is really going to be your greatest testament to how abundant you are
you're going to be gifted this. And this is a gift because you've always desired it. You've wanted it for as long as you can remember. Yeah, many of you were dealing with... Many of you were dealing with the pain of people that literally tried to block your and this is gonna sound weird scorpio like they literally tried to block your womb there was folks that was trying to block your womb they were trying to prevent you from having children and the divine stepped in is and is bringing balance back into your life so that way you will manifest what you will. <laughs> They're actually going to be in a lot of confusion because these are folks that was doing spells to block your womb. And I'm even getting for some of you, there was some like, some of you may have even been dealing with some corrupt institution that performed an unjust procedure to prevent you from having children because they knew what your bloodline they knew the story of your bloodline they knew that what you were meant to have and and some of you they performed an unethical procedure to block your womb and the divine is saying that the divine is releasing and undoing this procedure the divine is undoing a heinous procedure that was done to block your womb it was meant to keep you from having children this is an unethical procedure this may have been a procedure that you were not aware of it may have been something that you went into a health institution for something for one thing and then they ended up you know removing something else something like that and you were oblivious to this and some of you kind of felt like there was something off that there was something wrong even though you know they may have said that everything was okay it was not they literally did this procedure to block your womb with the intent that you would not know this, not knowing that you are functioning with extreme clarity. Like you have, you know, you have, okay, the third eye chakra. The, your third eye chakra is actually what's allowing you to see this, Scorpios, because this corrupt organization, which this also represents, they betted on you not finding out that this was the case. Okay. Because this was some really sneaky, like underhanded, uh, very unethical type of procedure. And you want, you get to know that these folks that did this procedure they're experiencing karmic justice in the highest form like literally i'm getting this image of these people are literally gonna burn for this they're going to burn for performing an unethical procedure to block your womb block you from having children like the the empress came with the three of sword like this was supposed to cause a lot of pain and heartache and for many of you it did the divine is letting you know that this blockage is being released it's being removed whatever it is that they did it's being undone many of you get to know that this corrupt organization you're soon going to be hearing about them they're going to be experiencing some 
very difficult times, a lot of struggle. All of them that were involved in performing this procedure are gonna burn. The divine has good news coming towards you. It's a, a in this new cycle. The divine is undoing what was done. Whatever caused bitterness, whatever caused you to be in this energy of uh, pain, the divine is undoing it. Wheel of Fortune and Ten of Swords showing up. Yep. And look at that Ace of Wands and energy of uh, fertility showing up too. And so is the Ace of Cups. All energies of fertility that showed up for you previously. Okay, now. <laughs> look at that. Ace of Cups. Scorpios, and look what's right underneath this. They're going to regret that they ever mess with your womb. They're going to regret that they ever perform these procedures. Because this is what the divine has. This is what's coming towards them. They're going to be bound. And look at that. They're all going to burn. And look at the strength card showing up again. Some of them may have miss, you know, <laughs> uh, misfortune, um, unfortunate accidents. Yep. They're going to regret this. They, they're going to regret that they ever did this procedure. They bet it on you not knowing, but and you're the high priestess. Many of you intuitively know this. The divine is changing. The trajectory is changing. Is undoing what was done. Anything else? You get to know that for many of you. This procedure was also meant to cause issues in your uh, your unions. They knew this, like whoever planned this, you know, they knew that this is something that may possibly bring conflict into your relationship because without, um, and here, look at that, the, the emperor, they knew that there would eventually be a divine and look at that Scorpios, you get to know that for many of you, this applies to both the divine masculine and divine feminine. Like in both of your cases, there was something that was surgically done to prevent you from having children. And it was part of it was meant to cause conflict and dis uh, conflict, distrust, disharmony. It was meant to cause all of those things within those divine feminine and divine masculine unions. Then with all of these issues, you would be unable to plan to have a family. Look at that. The three of, of pentacles upside down. This is an energy of you working together. This was meant to call cha cause chaos and confusion and disharmony within your relationships. This was meant to keep you trying over and over again to have children thinking that you could when the whole time this corrupt health system organization whatever it is that they are it could even be some kind of sect of some sort it was literally meant to cause all these things <sighs> tell me something about this group of people and I, that's how it's coming out it's coming out as a group of people it's not coming out as one person tell me about them that caused this on Scorpio <clears throat> was meant to cause burden it was meant to 
basically put you in this energy of stagnation within your most abundant cycle. Uh, they tried to block the abundance and didn't we say it was some kind of cult of some sort? Some sect of some sort? Yep, some kind of organization they were dealing. They may have been dealing with some spiritual stuff as well as physical. Like they were covering their their asses, Scorpios. <clears throat> Anything else you want to tell us? Yep, this is you having success and victory. <laughs> and I'm getting this energy that one of them is you and the other is them. Isn't that something? Scorpios, you get to know. Many of you have been asking about what sort of karma that these folks who have been doing these heinous acts spiritually manipulating causing and wreaking uh causing <laughs> wow and i'm getting even in trying to describe this scorpios this was not something that they expected that you would be speaking on like they expected that they would just do this and you wouldn't know and you wouldn't speak of it I'm getting this energy even in trying to explain this because it's like the coming out of it it's like it's it's some it's it's a heavy energy it takes a lot of strength and work and the divine is saying when you see your success and victory when you conceive the very thing that they had hoped that you wouldn't be able to do you will know that you have defeated these folks you will know their karmic justice by your victory because the very time that the, at the very same time that you're experiencing success, victory, recognition, this is the very same time that they're going to be going through their downfall. And I specifically heard Scorpios that some of them are going to burn. Yep, they're going to burn. I'm getting that it may be. Maybe some spiritual organization, Scorpios. Okay. Heavy energy. Messages for Scorpios. Okay, we're going to take one. Look at that. No, we'll take all of them. Look at what's showing. The very thing that they wanted to deny you of. And here you are because you are the child of Ra and this is your season. Many of you get to know that your ancestors worked on your behalf to assure that this took place. Asasaya is the earth mother. Look at what she's holding. You are this empress. You were meant to have this. They will not deny you this. And they will burn for what they did. Giving and receiving. Many of you get to know that for as much as you have given, it is your due season to receive. Nana Baluku is also saying it is your season to receive, Scorpios. Okay, let's see what I can get out of this like minute that's left. Okay, uh, Goddess Asasiya rules life and death as the joyful crone celebrated as Mama Earth. Her energy is loving, fertile, and nurturing, and her name is invoked at major life transition. So invoke the name of Asasiya. And she's saying your happiness matters, joy is sacred, your laughter waters the earth. So the divine wants you to be happy, and this is going to make you happy, and so it shall be.
okay and this is my aunt my aunt came out twice today okay many of you for real for real can come from the bloodline of my aunt my aunt represents alignment truth and balance her name means order as her father egyptian sun god Ra rose out of the chaos and put her in charge of divine justice this is why you're getting justice scorpios because you come from the bloodline of my aunt okay goddess declaration i give easily and freely i re i receive freely and easily let's say that again i give easily and freely i receive freely and easily okay confirmation and then we have nana baluku who is saying she is the grandmother of all the orisha deities and the homies wise woman herbalist and healer you have entered a new cycle that is very old. Allow yourself to become present. Trust in divine timing. Don't be in such a hurry. There are no no shortcuts here. Are you ready for a new beginning? You are in or entering a new season that will force you to evolve. This is a time of major transition. You're not stuck. You're holding on to old patterns. Change can be terrifying. Allow yourself to be mentored. When you choose a new path, you are right for self-sabotage. A commitment test from the universe may pop up to delay this new pathway. Stay the course. Your time is now. Goddess declaration, I am limitless. See, Nana Baluka is saying many of you actually, you you thought, you actually began thinking that this, this wouldn't happen. And Nana Baluka is saying, you know, it didn't happen because it was not the time. It was not the season. Regardless of what procedure these barbarians perform, nothing can stop what the divine has planned for you. Okay, so allow yourself to be present. Trust that you are in divine timing. Okay, and trust in knowing that your time is now. The wish that that is supposed to be fulfilled in your life it is now Scorpios look at all of this divine feminine energy coming to confirm to you that what they tried to do what they tried to stop they could not they will not because you are a child of Mother Earth okay giving birth to new life you are the child of Ma'at. You have given, continually given, and now it is time for you to receive. You are also the child of Nana Baluku, who's reminding you that your time that you never thought would come, your time is now. They could not stop this, and they will burn for even attempting to prevent you from, 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 you know going into the cycle of abundance they will burn okay scorpios <sighs> take a deep breath and accept this gift that the universe is handing you if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine